God damn it, my stomach hurts. I finally found out where the Forger's workshop is. Master Feyfar was right. The Forger's are sticking close to the supply source. Their workshop is somewhere in the mines. The entrance is on the eastern side of the hill. I've no idea what to expect there, but I'd rather go there with some backup. I will be glad to give it. Lead on. Well, I never. The pig turns what? up willingly for the slaughter. Over here! Where is everyone? Quick! Break me along! You Watch fucked out. up there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You yeah. Oh. Had enough, boy? Find you, you cur. You can Thank you. 
Jesus Christ. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm here at the command of the royal hetman, Sir Radzig Kabila. And who's he? That's no concern of yours. I'm sure we could come to some sort of agreement. Uh, I have plenty of coin. <laughs> we can come to an agreement that you'll keep your mouth shut. Oh. Oh. Please, don't take this personally. Wait! What? Do you want to do it? Be my guest. It gives me no pleasure. You can't kill him. I have orders to take him to Ratai. That is unfortunate. I have orders to kill everyone involved in this business. You can't do that! I have no choice, as you are aware. Why do you want to kill him? He may have valuable information. For that exact reason. My master does not wish this man to fall into the wrong hands, especially those of Radzik Kobila. You can tell your lord the man is dead. He'll never find out. But he will. Or do you think you can lock this man away from sight until Judgment Day? Why not? Do not be naive, boy. Look around you. This land swarms with rats and snakes, especially now. There is no secret that is not for sale. If I let you have him, my own head will be on a spike before the month is out. You don't have to go back to the Rosenbergs. How do you know about the Rosenbergs? Master Feyfar recognized the writing on your letter of passage. Just as I said, there is nothing safe from prying eyes in this land. And where would you suggest I go? Into Sir Radzik's service. He needs people like you. I serve Kubila. Out of the question. If he learned of all that I did for the Rosenbergs, he would hang me from the nearest tree. But you are right, I do not have to return to the Rosenbergs. In fact, I cannot. Why not? I am a knight without a crest, without allegiance. No one was meant to know whom I serve. If the Rosenbergs hear that I have been found out, they will see to it I vanish. They cannot afford to be associated with me. Where will you go then? Where the road takes me, as I have many times before. Farewell, Henry. Auf Wiedersehen. Please, please, I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. You can talk all you like, but not here and not to me. Let's go. Let's go. Master Feyfar is very keen to meet you. Good work, Henry. Thank you, Master Feyfar. It wasn't easy, I can tell you. I'll take some men and have a good look around there. And what should I do? You should get some rest and go to Rate. In the meantime, Sir Radzig will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. All right. I'll see you in Rate then. There's the man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Jezek refuses Henry. to talk to us. The stubborn bastard's asking to see you. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him, but then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir.
God be with you, Henry. God be with you. I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Hmm. So, Sir Radzik let him have his way in the end. He should have let me beat some answers out of him. Don't take it that way. He probably wants to talk to me because he reckons he can hoodwink me. But that's where he's wrong. Just try not to mess it up. Here's that key. Thanks. We have to make at least another three score and another, but three would be better. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? You brought me here. You should consider it an honor. If hanging around in a damp dungeon with a condemned man is your idea of honor... You're not seeing the bright side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. It did cross my mind, though, that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. I suppose there's some truth in that. I may speak with Sir Radzig and he might pardon you, but not unless you start talking. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago, and they said they were heading for Sassau, that armed men were being recruited, and they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month, so I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sassau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times, not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. Crimps? You're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sassau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sassau. It's about who you know, as always.
You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. This Eric, you reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. That'll do me for the moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. I can try, but I can't promise you anything. Greetings, Henry. Welcome, Henry. God be with you, Henry. Save, Henry. What are you doing? God save you, Henry. Damn! So what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring. And someone highly placed at the monastery. The well, monastery? Henry? Really? That's what Yezhek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sassau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, so Yezhek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. So Yezhek didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I'm... I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the Rad House. Someone must have heard something. These things can't be entirely kept in the dark. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention.
What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. Sir, there's one more thing. Sir Yezhek went with me without resistance because I promised him he could come to an agreement with you. My boy, my boy. You make promises in my name. That could turn out very badly for both of us. But if it can prevent bloodshed, why the hell not? We may well come to some arrangement after all, but I can't say yet what will become of him. You'd better run along. As you command, sir. Are you serious? Hey, who's there? What are you doing here? Get God be with you. I've got a few questions for you, Bailiff, if you don't mind. Have you been having some trouble around here? And what business is it of yours? Did someone complain? Who sent you here? No one complained, though I'd be interested to know why you think they might. It was Lord Radzig who sent me. He'd heard word that some unsavory characters are holed up around here. Begging your pardon? But what the devil does Sir Radzig care about it? And I keep hearing the same from Sir Sebastian. And he's got no dog in this fight either. Sir Sebastian? Who's that? Sebastian Baron von Berg. He's here under monastery law to protect us against all this unrest in the land. Why should he care about the city? That's not his jurisdiction, is it? Quite true. I'm in charge of this city, but he keeps telling me I've got cutthroats hiding around here and I should be more vigilant. The goal of the man. I heard some recruiters are meeting in Sassau. Seemed likely they'd get up to mischief and people might complain. Do you think that people here complain and I don't do my job? Nothing of the sort. Old Lederman's the only one that comes complaining, but I pay no heed to him. And what does this Lederman complain about? Lederman is our local tanner. Lives by the quarry, which is where, well, some youngsters go there to wrestle. They go there to fight and that doesn't bother you? Why would it bother me? Much better to brawl there than in the tavern. At least in the quarry they can't damage anything but each other. And my catchpoles go by there from time to time to keep an eye on things. Have you heard any talk of strangers in the town? Maybe people acting oddly? Nothing worth mentioning. Sure, there's been some talk about the miller. Folks saying they've been seeing him doing this or that, or people visiting him at night. But he's never done anything. He's a decent enough man for a miller. 
I'll try asking him if he's heard anything. He lives on the other side of the river, by the bogs. But don't go getting your hopes up. He might not be able to help. You have an inn, and the horse trails cross here. There must be many travellers come seeking work, and not all of them honest men. Aye, it's true. Bedlam has broken out once or twice, and restoring order was no easy matter. Has there been anything like that lately? No. It's been quiet here lately. But now that I think about it, I don't recall coming across anyone here like that. Nobody looking for soldiering work, maybe as a merchant's guard? There's always one or two like that. But if they don't get the job, they move on. Thank you, Bailiff. A lot of... Hey, look out! Say to you, what do you need? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? And what's your idea of suspicious? Have you heard of anyone looking to hire some rough men? Mercenaries, you mean? Yes. There were some fellows conspiring here in the corner twice a week, and others coming and going. They didn't look entirely respectable, but they never made any trouble. And what happened to them? I don't know, they just stopped coming, and I haven't seen hide nor hair of them since. You haven't heard anything about where they went? How could I have? They just stopped coming, and that's that. Where do you think they might be meeting now? How should I know? I'm an honest innkeeper, not a man at arms. They could be meeting at another inn. They could be meeting in the woods by the light of the moon, for all I know. Is there any way I'll recognize them? Unquenchable thirst? They drank like fish. They were rough looking too. Big bearded and scruffy. Aside from that, they mostly kept to themselves. That's not much help. What did they do while they were waiting for someone? They drank. And they played dice. I do remember there were always dice on the table. So they were fond of dice, were they? And where would you find a game around here? Anywhere there's dice and usually drink. That's all you need for a game. Although it dawns on me now, I never saw Simon with those men, oddly enough. He's got a nose for drunken dice players with a coin to lose. Simon who? Why, the young Miller. He runs Catsick Mill. Neighbors are always slandering him for trafficking, but who knows? Maybe he just has a knack for business. You don't know where I might find some uh, more dishonourable folk. And why would you want them? You'll set tongues wagging about you. But they'd be the ones to know what reputable townsfolk don't. I grant you that. Well, we don't have an executioner, just a knacker. But he's an odd fellow. Like any knacker, I suppose. And there's some strange tales about Miller Simon, too. But I'd say it's just jealousy. What can you tell me about the knacker? Decent folk don't talk about him. He deals in carcasses. I was hoping you'd tell me a bit more than that. Why should I care about him? He lives in a house by the church, and that's all I know. And all I'll say. What can you tell me about Simon? There's not much to tell. He runs Katzig Mill, and some say thieves meet there at night. But isn't there gossip about every miller? I don't think he's a sinner. But only God knows for sure. Anything else? You might not find him at the mill. He's a busy man, always out and about making some deal or other. And he likes to throw dice, especially when he sees a fat purse hanging on a drunken belly. Thank you for the help. Not at all. But why off so soon? Sit down for a 